Let's get into today's action. My name is Gareth Soloway. Today's date, Friday, July 18th, 2014. Markets have just closed. I wanted to give everyone a little update on my views on this market going into the weekend so everyone can be prepared for next week. Number one, markets big bounce back today. S&P up 20 points. Dow up 123, NASDAQ up 69. The NASDAQ actually reversed all of the losses from yesterday and actually gained about 4 to 5 points. So again, nice rebound in tech. Yesterday we had SanDisk, SNDK weighing on the markets. Uh, today, seemed like all was well as Google uh, rallied on the earnings that it reported yesterday. And again, Google, very nice day today. If we bring up that chart now, G-O-O-G. And we can even do the G-O-O-G-L right there, up 24 points on the day. So that really helped tech get a bid. Now, the key is this. Many people are asking, all right, so you're in the middle of this cycle date. And yesterday, we saw the break of the key level at the very start of that cycle date. What does today mean in relation? Or does this mean we're going to go to new highs? Does this mean it's just a reprieve for one day? And I'd like to bring up a couple points on that. So number one. The markets, again, if we go back to the SPY on the intraday, we ended up closing, check this out, uh, still below the key level from two days ago. So if you look at the close the market had a couple days ago, it was right here around 198. We closed today at 197.65. So you haven't even recaptured the losses from yesterday. Number two, you haven't even taken out the recent highs. If you look at the 52-week highs here, you have a high, you have a lower high, and then a break point here. And we'll see if today's high is a high and we start selling a little bit on Monday. And the one thing I'd like to bring up about today's date, today's date was options expiration. So it's very possible and today, by the way, the volume was very light for an options expiration. Right now, only about $119 million on the SPY. So you have to wonder and ask yourself, is this price action just a little bit of options action or options shenanigans on options expiration? Uh, is this kind of a lot of people that were waiting for any sort of sell-off in the markets to jump back in? Did they jump back in and lift this market up? And I think that's part of it. Absolutely part of it. And tomorrow, I shouldn't say tomorrow, but on Monday, that will be the key. All right, so when we get the action on Monday, folks, that's going to give us a better analysis point. So to me, this kicks the can down the road till Monday. And on Monday, we should get a better picture of this market. Now, if the market rallies on Monday and closes above these recent highs, then that would tell me that you need to see another big down move and confirmation for the cycle to take place. And we're still in that range of the cycle date. Yesterday it began, and it stretches into next week. And that's when the market should be, getting to be, be starting to shift their position. All right, so just give yourselves a little idea on that. All right, a um, couple other things. Number one, the market's closed below the key upsloping trend line. That's the first time we have closed below that trend line ever since we got above it on the daily basis all right so at the end of the day yesterday we closed below that trend line and again this is this upsloping trend line which i've referred to you guys for a long long time and you can see we've been below it but you never closed below it until yesterday and that's when we closed right down here on this other trend line right here all right so that to me is still significant to me, that's a major break point even though they were able to rally the markets back today it's still to me a significant break and now we're just waiting for confirmation all right, so again, here was your first break. It's another major crack in the glass. Now we want to see this market get back below this line on a closing basis and then confirm. As soon as we have the proprietary indicator that's, that's confirmation that I created, then that will be when the floodgates really start to open. And again, ultimately, we'd like to see confirmation with a close below 194.35. 194.35, a close below that would be huge uh, in regards to the market. Okay, so that's what we have going on here, guys. And again, something we'll just kind of keep our eyes on. Uh, the VXX came all the way back in today. The VIX came all the way back. Uh, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if over the weekend things start to bubble up again. There was no resolution, all right? No, no big agreements in Russia about stopping the fighting with Ukraine. Uh, someone has to be held accountable for this rocket attack on this plane, and that has to be delved into. Uh, European Union is most likely because they lost a lot of citizens. Netherlands lost the most. I know Germany lost a few. Australia lost a few as well. Um, there has to be someone held accountable, and now this could actually put the European Union more on the side of putting sanctions on Russia if Russia doesn't back down. Then you throw in the whole Gaza mess with Israel, 
and the incursion there as the Israeli forces have gone in there. You throw in Iraq, you throw in uh, China and the, the, the seas, that they're, the islands they're fighting over with Japan, I mean, all this stuff. And it puts this market in a very precarious position. So I'm going to say to you this. The market is borderline in breakdown territory. So you close below that line. This is just summarizing everything simply. What we're just waiting for now is, number one, kicking the can into Monday to see what type of price action. Number two, we need to see confirmation below this upsloping trend line here. That's what you're waiting for. If you don't know what confirmation is, it's the most powerful signal out there in the market today on any chart. And again, we teach that here at TheMoneyStocks.com. All right, if we get confirmation, that's where the floodgates open. All right, now, I had shorted SanDisk a few days ago. I covered it yesterday for a 10% gain. Just into the close today, I picked up a new short, which I reveal in the Research Center to members. And again, you can take a seven-day free trial there. But again, the point is, if you know what you're doing, you should be making significant amounts of money, even while the market is just chopping. Volatility is the blessing to anyone who's a day trader or a swing trader. Swing trader is someone who holds a stock for like a week, uh, two weeks, a month. You know, someone who's a, who's like holding overnight for a period, but not a long-term investor. That's a swing trader. So if that's who you are, this market, you should be banking a lot of money. A lot of money in. All right, and again, especially the more volatile it gets here. But just look at yesterday. I mean, look at the fall and look at the reversal. That is huge volatility. Huge volatility. And again, that should breed profits. All right, let's go into a couple charts out there. A couple things that I want to take a look at. Number one, Netflix. Netflix ended at the highs of the day, but really only up about $4.5. Pretty weak showing. Usually these high beta stocks have a little bit more gusto to their moves, and we did not see that from Netflix today. If we bring up Tesla, uh, Tesla had a little bit of a better move percentage-wise, up over 2%. Uh, still, that's not that major of a move. If we look at Baidu today, Baidu was strong, up about 1.9%. Nice move there. Let's flip over to the daily chart and just kind of keep our eyes on some of these charts. Baidu, by the way, I would like one more move on Baidu. I have a master level on a Pierce of 200. If we can get through 200, that's a good short on Baidu. Let's take a look at Apple on the daily chart and see what happened here. Uh, notice how Apple has come back in right into this level. This was a former level. It was a great one because you saw the chart pierce but never confirm above this blue line. Then you had this pullback. Then we got above it. We then confirmed above it, which means first retrace into it. You're going to get a bounce, and that is your first retrace bounce there officially. You kissed it here, never touched the line. This is your official hit right there, and you can see the bounce today. But again, the big question in my mind is does Apple get over $100 or not? All right, there's been some upgrades lately. That actually makes me more bearish, but I still think it has a decent chance to get above those levels. Okay? So we'll kind of follow that through and see exactly. And remember, today was Options X, so these are all shenanigans. All, all week, you really, especially on Thursday and Friday with this kind of craziness, and especially today, uh, institutions do their best to kind of push the market and stocks in directions where Order they're going to be in the best scenario. All right, that's where they're going to be in that position to... Um, you know, profit the most on their option plays. Then on Monday when Options X is over, you get a much clearer picture. And that's what I'm curious to see is if we get a much clearer picture and a, and a real move on Monday one way or the other. And I think, honestly, usually I'll tell you Mondays are the days where you don't really know too much and what's really going on there. But um, Monday, this coming Monday, based on what's going on, I think you'll get a very true picture. Options X over. The real reality of the situations going on will make themselves uh, apparent, and I think that's going to be the key. Okay, guys? So let's kind of continue to focus on that and see, and uh, we'll go from there. All right? On that note, folks, I bid you farewell for now, and uh, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy. Get ready to profit next week, guys. Come join us here at TheMoneyStocks.com.